vasculature disorder in the retina we will start with the vessel occlusion and in vessel occlusion first we will study about the arterial occlusion as we saw that artery can be either central retinal artery or branched retinal artery so what is the cause behind the artery occlusion there are two major cause that is atherosclerosis and the other is emboli formation as we know the atherosclerosis is caused due to the sedentary lifestyle diabetes mellitus hypertension uh, high lipidemia and um, other could be oral uh, contraceptive homocysteinuria tobacco and these are the cause for the atherosclerosis and regarding emboli the cause can be uh, according to the uh, constituent of the emboli if the emboli is of cholesterol that is due to hyperlipidemia cholesterol which is the most common type of uh, most common type of emboli it can also be calcium calcific type of emboli this is the most dangerous type of emboli seen in the arterial occlusion it can be due to arteritis arteritis causing or it can be either uh, platelet fibrin uh, emboli platelet fibrin emboli uh, other uh, emboli uh, can be uh, due to angiospasm so these are the types of emboli or the cause for the emboli um, other can be thrombophilic disorder can also cause uh, emboli formation and as a result the artery gets occluded how do they present um, now coming to the uh, central of, uh, artery may central and branched we will divide it into two types branched look if it is central then we will see for visual acuity and the other is uh, RAPD test rapid different pupillary defect then we will examine the fundus fundoscopic is wrong and at last FFA means uh, fundus fluorescent angiography is done FFA test we will perform this in this both then what is seen if it is central artery is in occluded then visual acuity is uh, very profoundly reduced more reduced but if it is branched then very less reduced RAPD is uh, profound sometimes total RAPD is also found but here RAPD may be seen or not seen a very uh, moderate type of RAPD is seen now fundus examination if we will examine the fundus you will see you will see a uh, due to um, due to the uh, occlusion in the artery you can easily recognize a milk spot milky white milky white spot on the retina with a cherry red in the middle of the uh, milky white retina this is the cherry red spot cherry red spot and uh, other examination and fundoscopy also shows there will be attenuation of the uh, arterion artery wall is attenuated uh, along with uh, venous uh, narrowing can also be there and FFA what does the FFA will say usually the FFA so that the arterial filling is delayed arterial filling is delayed means simply how to differentiate central and branched all the symptoms are present in branched too but in moderate amount moderate amount may branch may differ. and then and what is the next difference usually the central retinal artery occlude occlusion causes the generalized symptom for whole eye but the branched retinal artery usually presents with a sectorial type of vision loss vision loss is sectorial type means a particular if a branch of artery is involved then the whole retina will not get distorted so the vision is usually affected in a sector or a particular uh, equator region so how do they present what is the symptom for there uh, they usually present a sudden sudden pain, uh, painless uh, visual loss uh, sudden sudden painless visual loss and vision loss they present with this and um, other signs were like this 
now coming to the and but in the branch they usually complains about the sectorial variable how to treat this asset that is the main target uh, actually treatment is uh, very uh, symptomatic treatment is done and as we should know that uh, because this uh, occlusion causes irreversible type of vision loss so this cases should be uh, taken under immediate uh, emergency case uh, and managed by the following look how to manage first of all the patient is asked to uh, sleep in supine position and then ocular massage is given ocular massage in ocular massage with the help of our ocular mirror we see the artery and we um, gently press the artery and relieve it again press and relieve this what does this help this pressure counter pressure effect helps in the uh, helps in the to remove the occlusion so this is the ocular massage then other can be to decrease the iop to lower the iop we will give acetazolamide or manitol can be given and vasodilation is given vasodilation is done so that the occlusion can be uh, decreased vasodilator like isojode by dinitrate can be given dinitrate and other could be uh, thrombolytic drug can be prescribed or laser embolysis can also be performed laser embolysis so this was the treatment and if the cause was arteritis chent cell arteritis then we can give iv steroid for pain you should know that if the cause is joint cell arteritis it causes painful vision loss in the case of arterial occlusion so this is all for the arterial occlusion now coming to the venous occlusion the venous occlusion and you should also know that the, this here is also the cattle tracking sign cattle cattle track sign is also seen uh, that is what cattle tracking is the segmentation of the blood column in the retinal vein cattle okay, track okay now coming to the venous occlusion venous occlusion is again divided into central and uh, branched vein so the central is further divided how if the venous occlusion has caused ischemia then that is ischemic type and if it has not caused uh, then that is non-ischemic type non-ischemic type is earlier presentation so now coming to the cause for the venous occlusion vein conclusion what is the cause behind that the first to remember cause is anything anything which causes increase in the uh, osmotic pressure of the osmotic pressure code um, inside the vein any uh, pathology that causes osmotic pressure to increase inside the vein that is that can cause venous occlusion what could be that uh, venous occlusion ka cause yes, ki, uh, polycythemia means RBC increase ho gaya, platelet increased or lipid increase, um, hemoglobin increase, uh, WBC increase, leukemia mein jaise multiple myeloma mein aapka protein ka matra increase ho gaya, uh, and bilirubin ka level increase ho gaya. or other causes are like diabetes mellitus or have high risk hypertension or age more than 65 years they are at risk and raised IOP increased IOP have also uh, um, risk smoking and OCP uses these are the patient who can who can present with and the other is uh, orbital cellulitis or uh, orbital tumors orbital cellulitis or tumor they can also present with venous occlusion now coming to the pathogenesis how is the vein get occluded the most common pathogenesis is uh, this says that due to the arterial thickening means due to arterial occlusion look artery was occluded then what happens uh, the artery thickens and this thickness what does usually a um, seat inside of seat both the artery and the vein both are inside the seat look and now if this artery gets thickened then it is obvious that the vein will be occluded so now uh, due to arterial occlusion the arterial wall thickens and then it causes venous occlusion 
So this was the most common, early, uh, most common pathogenesis for the venous occlusion. Now, uh, as we know that central is further divided into non-ischemic and ischemic type, then what is the presentation for this both uh, types? Non-ischemic is uh, um, less fever means moderate type of symptom are brought in the non-ischemic means um, how to non-ischemic type and this is for ischemic type of venous occlusion so what is happening usually non-ischemic non is more common 75% ye hota hai aur bacha ye hoga so more common uh, is known as ischemic and usually the we will see again for visual acuity RAPD and then fundus visual acuity will be reduced in moderate amount reduced in this but here in ischemic it will be reduced very largely RAPD is uh, RAPD is absent in uh, non ischemic but here uh, it will be uh, present but in profound manner. Profound. Now, coming to the specific fundus examination, what do they see? Because it is ischemic or non ischemic, there, how will we differentiate? There will be edema, there will be hemorrhage, there will be uh, papilloedema, venous congestion. Venous may congestion distortion, uh, tortuous and dilation, congestion, tortuous, vein become tortuous and venous dilation is seen and hemorrhage causes flame set, superficial hemorrhage that is known as flame set hemorrhage and edema in the cystoid, macular edema can be seen or papilloedema is also seen. So this was the venous changes. Uh, and uh, as it proceeds in the late stage, this edema in, in, and these all the features gets worse. And if we perform FFA, then you will see that there is a transient time present in the delayed AV transient time. Delayed AV arteriovenous transient time is delayed. And this whole symptom is again repeated in this also but in a severe case means severe state this this is the difference and um, how do they present if you will make a um, diagram then suppose that this was the macula then you can easily see flame separate hemorrhage everywhere and you can also see cotton wool spot this is flame separate hemorrhage means superficial vessel are getting involved and this is cotton wool spot Cool sport and the other is neovascularization can easily be seen neovascularization and uh, pigmentary change can also be there pigmentary change is seen so now coming to the um, coming to the complication complication can be all these papilloedema cme hemorrhage these are the complication uh, rubio iridis uh, rubiosis iridis means neovascularization of the iris proliferative retinopathy can be there how will you treat these cases because there is neovascularization first of all we will go for pan retinal photocoagulation this is the treatment modality pan retinal photocoagulation anti vegf and what are those drugs rani bosnizuma these are the drugs that are anti vegf means vascular endothelial growth factor against mesocam curry or if the uh, complication is for CME, complication CME me chala gaya ho to, injection of triamcinolone is very important. Triamcinolone is given to the patient and uh, sometimes radial optic neurotomy is also performed. Radial optic neurotomy is done. Look, this was all for central type of central retinal vein. Now coming to the branched retinal vein. Branched retinal vein can include the occlusion in the hemispheric or quadrantic or a small branch. Means, suppose that a main branch retinal vein is included then then can cause hemispherical type of 
occlusal or quadrantic regarding breast you should know it is divided into hemispherical or quadrant can be involved quadrantic or other can be small branch type so all the symptoms will be similar to the central but in a uh, less extent means only a particular segment means suppose that this was the macula then only if a branch is involved then you can see flames epid hemorrhage neovascularization cortical spot in a particular one one quadrant but the other will be other part will be normal in shape and size and the sign will be same dilation to towards of the vein and ffa will show delayed venous filling and usually they do not require treatment usually resolves in treatment in treatment we should know that resolves in 6 to 12 month and uh, but you should look for the cme uh, cme and neovascularization so this is all for the venous occlusion of the retina thank you